Do the prex swing one more time so the camera sees where it finishes. And this camera is going to evaluate how well you copy that on the ball. So you got to you got to will yourself to swing to that pose and not worry about results. Should I hit, try to hit the ball now? Yeah, or? absolutely. With that pose. Perfect. I'm okay with what you're doing. Good. Jason, on the left is your chipping technique before we start adjusting it. I'm going to compare it to Jim Furyk and a few others. And uh, I like your setup. Um, and the only thing that's really different, and it's obviously different, is the width of your stance. Jim Furyk has his feet almost touching each other, very close together. The, what's very important with your short game is to make sure that the the low point of your arc, when you, when you swing the club back and the club is coming down, at some point it's going to reach the lowest point and then it's going to go back up again. And the key to uh, full, for any time you're hitting a ball that's on the ground, the key to the swing is that you want to make sure that you position the low point in front of the golf ball. We don't want it at the ball and certainly not behind the golf ball. And the way that you do that is that you put a little bit more weight on your left foot at the setup so that you're almost leaning a little bit forward. The other thing that you want to do, and, you are, and you're doing that now, is you want to get your hands forward so the shaft is leaning and uh, you're, you're doing that. You have your hands in front of the ball and that helps put the low point in front of the ball so that's good and uh, so those are the things that you want to do in your setup you want to have a little bit more weight on your left side and your hands a little bit in front of the ball and the way that you get your weight on the left side is by getting your feet a little closer together now let's look at Furyk's uh, swing and I've drawn Two blue lines for on his forearms and on the shaft, which so kind of had the letter Y in blue there. And I have drawn an arrow from the his face to his hands. And so he he's has his hands right in front of his body. Now let's look at the swing as he goes back, and when he finishes, he has retained that angle. So he still has his letter Y, he didn't break down and, and cup his wrist and get wristy and flip the club head around his hands. He moves the club by moving the handle of the club, not the end of the club. And he has swung his chest and his eyes and his hands are still in front of his body. So it's not a hand swing, it is a body swing. So that's very good. Let's look at your motion. You're, you have a pretty good wide position. The camera's not in the same position as, as Furyk was, but you have that, and then let's go to your finish. And again, you, you were not wristy. You swung the handle forward, and the club went with you. So that was good. Also, your chest is right where your hands are, so that's good. So your technique from the upper body is pretty good. All right, now you've adjusted your setup much better setup. Feet are closer together. You, you, can, you have more weight on your left foot, which is putting the low point in front of the ball. We've adjusted your grip. Instead of having a 10-finger grip, you now have the pro-like grip of uh, overlapping. And so that's a much better setup. Let's take a look at uh, your swing. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that nice wide position there. Oh, that was really clean. I don't care about the hole. That really came off like butter. And that's because your low point's in front, so you're not hitting. There's, no, there's less chance of hitting the ground behind the golf ball. You're controlling the location of your low point, so you're hitting everything cleaner. There's no interruption of the contact with the ground because you've got that low point in front. Oh, that was really good. Oh, yeah. Do a rehearsal first. You're in the fingers, and you're going to have a hand and step. There you go. That finish is important. That's really good right there. That's textbook. 
Beautiful. This is just really good, Jason. Perfect little hinge and hold. You have a little hinge in your backswing and then you're holding your finish. Very good. That's really good. I want you to take a quick look at your right hand before you're, the more you start sneaking that over there, your subconscious might start doing that with that, your conscious mind not even being aware of it. Uh -huh. The more you do that, the lower you're going to hit the ball. Okay. And the more you might pull it to the left. Okay. So, you gotta so keep, keep there. this there. If I was to That's right. If you were to have the finger there, you just then roll it underneath. You're fine. Gotcha. So this knuckle needs to be pointed yeah. down to the ground. Gotcha. If you're going to do handstands on the knuckle. Gotcha. There you go. Much clean. It felt pretty good. It did. It felt way better. It just way came out better like better. Before, you're right. I do the same thing with this club. Okay. Now, before you grip, make sure the club is set correctly. Don't you okay. don't want to grip it while it's in the wrong position? Gotcha. Okay. Get it, get it so correct. Club's gonna be like that, obviously. Yep. Good. It's not gonna roll out as far. <laughs> play in the middle. Let's play this in the middle of your stance. You got it. You kind of there. You go. You had it a little bit too much on the top. Okay. Away forward go. still. Yeah. Hold it for a moment or two. Well, I know, I noticed. That was maybe one of your best ones. 